Yo. So I'm building. Well, um, I gotta buy some. I gotta build a miter saw station and an outfeed table and stuff for the stuff. But so I haven't. I have not get my train of thought together. I just went and picked up that rental. Um, I've not set up anything yet. And I was looking at charcuterie boards. And um, I think I'm going to make some cutting boards too. But uh, I want to do edge grain cutting boards. You can do the straight grain. Um, people will buy them. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to sell these yet. I'm still kind of trying to figure it all out. But uh, check this out. So these are poplar. A poplar kind of weird because most of the time you get like this and there's not much detail but I went through I went through every board of poplar at Home Depot now you don't need a planer or any of that stuff you go to Home Depot their their woods already milled they got they got that red oak you don't want to use that it's too porous they have this poplar though they don't have a lot of wood at all but they do have this poplar and um, just for practice because I was thinking about man there's my my pre-runner supposed to be racing this past weekend but plans change so anyways um after going through after going through their their wood i found some poplar with some nice detail that was the first one i made the handle's kind of wonky but it's all right and then i made that one and then i made this one there's two holes right here because uh there's gonna be some serving handles right there but i literally made I made these three with that. That is it. I have a sander, I have a jigsaw, and I have a, um, a flush trim router. Um, you don't even need a router. You could you could bevel these edges with your sander. Um, I went on Etsy and I went and checked out uh, Offer Up in my area, and there are a ton of people selling these things. And then you go into their account and you look, 300 sales, sold 300, you know, the little thing, sold 300, sold 150, sold 400. Um, a lot of them are able to personalize them, you know, to put people's names on them and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's a particular selling point. Uh, I think it might be. Um, my wife yesterday had, uh, they sell eggs. Uh, we have a bunch of chickens and my wife sells eggs and crafts and whatnot. And we put those out. She took some pictures and put them on Instagram. And we already got a couple people that hit us up for orders. And um, so that's pretty cool. Let me show you guys what I did. Uh, you got all these fancy woodworker YouTuber dudes that are, you know, they got these big shops. And I'm going to build a shop. We're going to build a shop right over there in my garage. Uh, I used to have a shop when we lived uh, in Covina a long time ago. I used to refinish furniture. But... Um, I made these three, and basically all I did, I don't know if you guys can see, I have these, these pieces, I have two blanks, I have two blanks for some small ones on some end cuts, you can see right there where I just traced out a design, um, made a handle. On the handles, you can go buy you know, some of the guys on YouTube and whatnot have uh, handles and stuff, patterns for sale. But uh, but I literally just made, let me, coffee. I literally just uh, made a handle, drew it out on cardboard. Just walking over here. Drew it out on cardboard and, um, and cut it out with scissors. Uh, I smoke still, I probably shouldn't do that. But uh, drew it out on cardboard and then cut it out. And I created uh, a handle template um, that I'll eventually um, trace onto some MDF, so I can make a do the use the flush cut router to uh, to flush those up a little bit better, make them look a little nicer. But I don't think people care. I think at the end of the day, rustic is good. Uh, Ronnie's coming out, so there's there's the blank for that one. And the blank for that one. And uh, I was playing with that last night. I, I, the handle's kind of weird, but I'm going to cut it anyways. 
and then there's a blank for another one. The cool thing about this board, my mother-in-law pointed out yesterday, was, uh, there's my dog, was that you could stick a bowl for dip right here. I didn't even think of that. She was like, oh, yeah, you get, I like this one because she thought I did it on purpose, but I, I didn't. I just, I just did it like this because it was the handle, and she sticks a bowl over here, and they go, I like, uh, I like what you did. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I meant to do that. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go through, maybe later I'll go through a video of how, how I made these. But just just so you could get going right away before I make a video. Um, I took the, plan the blanks. I traced out the boards how I want them. And uh, you guys get it. You're not dumb. You just cut out with your jigsaw or bed saw if you have one you just cut them out sand the edges um i go through 80 grit then 120 220 and then after the 220 i pop the grain and what you mean by pop the grain is when the boards get wet after they're sanded the grain fibers will will raise up and the board won't be smooth anymore after the three after the 220 that board's gonna feel really smooth uh, but when it gets wet, even after you put the finish on, that grain's going to pop up and it's going to feel like sandpaper. So you want to just spritz them with water. If you have a spray bottle, I used my wife's spray bottle in the bathroom. Don't say nothing. And I took her spray bottle from the bathroom that she uses for her hair. And I, I, sprayed, I sprayed all the boards down. And then I hit them with 320. Um, after the 320, I wiped them down with mineral oil. They're not cutting boards. So you don't have to soak them. A lot of guys will soak cutting boards. Um, before they put on the beeswax, um, I wiped them down with mineral oil. I let them sit for about an hour, um, and then and then the beeswax. After that, when I wiped them out the beeswax, I put two coats of beeswax. So I put beeswax on. Um, I let them sit for a few hours. I wiped it off, and then I um, put more beeswax on them, and I let them sit overnight, and then just kind of polish them. Anyways, go make some boards. Go make some boards and go sell some boards and go make some money and uh, hit me up when you do. I'm on Instagram. It's Alder Off-Road. Um, send me some pictures of what you guys make. All right, man. Late.